So I wanted to share this process because um, when I was going through this, I couldn't find anything to support how everything co you know goes together. And so I was actually forced to buy a complete assembly from Alpina themselves. So, I mean, it's not that complex, but it was nice to verify that, you know, that's the way that things go together. Um, so, basic tools, open end wrench, open end, closed end wrench. Um, in this case, a 12. Yep, 12 millimeter, small little flathead, um, a ratchet, and extension with a 19 millimeter socket. And here are some parts I got through uh, Alpina Distributor. Here's the cap on the front end, the lock mechanism, the nut that secures that lock mechanism, the key for it. There is a tab that keeps the um, that keeps the lock mechanism down. I'll show you that in a bit. Another nut, uh, O-ring for the cap that goes to the basically that covers the locking mechanism and the tab that actually secures it to the wheel. So my cap also with some fresh powder coat. I um, already have my main o-ring uh, slipped over it. So you put the mechanism, locking mechanism in this manner where it's downward like that. Basically where the small nub is at the bottom. Gonna put the key in it just to have a nice handle to hold it, hold on to it. Um, gonna put this down, put some Loctite on the threads on the inner of this nut. Not getting too messy. This thing is slim, so let's see if we can do it mess free. Should be wearing gloves. Cool. So I'm gonna fasten down the nut. So just tight, you know, tight enough. Nothing too crazy. And let the lock tight cure. So we'll put that aside for a while. Next we're going to attach the, the locking tab. Like so. And then we're going to attach this guy. This is a locking tab for the locking tab. So it doesn't uh, back out. So this nut doesn't back out. And basically unlock your cap and get your wheel stolen. That's kind of the idea. So no Loctite on that one because it's got its own type of secure. And we'll do that after we uh, torque it down. So holding the, put the key in so I can hold the mechanism so that I can get a nice torque down on that. So, as you can see, this operates now. Could just get a little more. You don't want too much because you can break the key. Alright, sweet. So, this tab now has to be bent in a manner that doesn't allow this uh, nut to back off. So, we're going to deform this tab. It's going to be secure like this and not allowing that nut to back off. Level up to like a bigger flathead to help after you've kind of bent it and create a little crevice to leverage. Um, but we'll keep working at it real quick and show you the result. Pretty secure, I'd say. It's torqued down too, so that's basically what we're gonna leave it as. Let's go test fit it, see if it rattles or whatnot. Tight fit, it's a good sign, because if it was loose, we'd get some rattles. Sweet. And she's locked. So, um, just a few things left, pretty basic. Uh, source this from Alpina's distributor. 
O-ring I got just generic. I forgot the size, but um, it will be in the description. Gotta squeeze this guy through in this manner. It's a one way. Like so. Gets locked in there. Next, I'm gonna clean the surface where the logo goes with some isopropyl 91. Sweet, so this is the complete unit.